Hey guys, welcome to Tuko Bites. I'm Chef Rachel, and today I'll be showing you how I make my favorite smoothies. Of late, I've been craving for smoothies, especially in the morning. So the ones I'll be showing you today are my two favorite ones, and I hope you will love them. If you're new to this channel, please remember to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. So our first smoothie will be an oat banana smoothie. So let me take you through the ingredients. So for our ingredients, I have bananas, I have oats, I have plain milk, I have yogurt, I have honey, and I have cinnamon. So these are the major ingredients that we need for our oats banana smoothie. So in my blender here, I'm going to start with the liquid. So I'll start with milk. So the reason I'm starting with the liquid is to facilitate uh, the blending when I start blending. Because when the liquids are up and the solids are down, it's a bit difficult to blend. So remember to start with the liquid first before you put in anything solid in the blender. So next here I have my milk, I mean, sorry, my yogurt. And I have honey. Then I'm going to add in the oats. So for my bananas, they are frozen. Because I don't want to add in ice cubes, they're not good for my health to take cold stuff at the moment. That's why I always prefer to freeze the bananas first so that when I blend them, they are cold, but not too cold and not too icy. So I'm going to add in the bananas. And the last thing I'm adding is cinnamon, just a pinch to balance all the flavors. And then I'm going to blend everything together until they incorporate and then serve. And I'll show you how it looks like. So the smoothie is ready for service. So I'm just going to pour it in the glass, it stick nicely because my, my bananas were frozen. So that's why it's thick. So make sure as you make the smoothie, your, you freeze your bananas or you add in some ice cubes. But if you add in ice cubes, it's going to be a bit, not very thick like this one. So guys, this is the perfect smoothie, banana and oat. It's amazing, it's delicious. It's everything, it's all the deliciousness in one. Trust you me. It's also good for kids, your brother, your sister, your husband, anyone. It's just perfect. It's not too cold, it is very sweet. All the flavors, they've balanced so, so, so well. You need to try this out. So let's move on to the next smoothie. Our next smoothie is a mango smoothie. So let me take you through the ingredients that I normally use to make the mango smoothie. So for first ingredients, of course, we need ripe mangoes. I have some bananas, just one. I have yogurt, I have plain milk, and some ice cubes. The reason I'm using ice cubes is because I didn't freeze my, banana, my mangoes earlier. So I'll just have to use the ice cubes, but it's optional. You can always do away with it. So into my blender, I'm going to start with the liquids. I'll start with the milk, followed by the yogurt. So for the yogurt, you can use vanilla or strawberry, it still doesn't matter, it's still okay. So for me, I always use the yogurt I have at hand, whether it's vanilla or strawberry or any other flavor, because it's just a little to thicken the smoothie. Then I'll put in my mangoes. Then from there, I'll add the bananas. So the bananas here, it's to sweeten the smoothie and uh, to give it that natural sugar, so that it's just not too plain. Because at times you'll find some mangoes, they don't have sugar. They, yes, they look ripe, they're yellow, they look so delicious, but they're a bit flat. That's why I always use the mangoes as well. 
Then the lastly, I'll add in my ice cubes. Just a little. And then, as usual, for me, I always add cinnamon to balance the flavors of my ingredients. And then all the ingredients are in here. I'm going to cover it and take my sweet time to blend and make sure they are smooth before I serve. Our mango smoothie is ready. As you can see, I love the color of this smoothie so, so much. It's like, I take this one more than the oat and banana smoothie because this one, I just love it. I just love the color. I don't know, it's just me, you know? So this is how it looks like or how it should look. See, this one is not too thick like the other one. And the color is just mind blowing. So I need to test it first so that I tell you how it is, you know? Let's pray fast. This is... Guys, this is love made visible, I swear. It's so sweet. It's, it's, it's just so delicious. Make sure you try out this one first. You can try out both because they're all good. That's why they're my favorite. But this one, it's mind-blowing. So guys, these are my favorite two smoothies, my go-to smoothies. I love them. I uh, take them more often. Of course, there are others, but these are closer to my heart, you know? So I hope you enjoyed spending time with me and you love this recipe. Please show me some love by commenting and liking this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.